Hey everybody, welcome back to another weekly Slime Fun update with your host Boomer. Today we are hanging out on my Skyblock server where I live stream from every Saturday morning. And we're hanging out with the Slime, just uh, chilling on the base because we're doing something different today. This weekly Slime Fun update is a little different and so I wanted to do it from a different place. Now on this server, I have every Slime Fun add-on on here uh, with the exception I believe of Brewery and what is it? And it's something that I set out to do a long time ago was create an environment to make it hardcore slime fun to really challenge me to make everything work here. And it's been a long struggle. We've had a lot of great feedback and help from the viewers like you, and I really appreciate that. And with that said, this week's slime fun update is just as different as this series is. Uh, early in the week, the game breaking update came out. And everybody was bracing to see what would happen. And I am so proud and impressed to say that Slime Fun didn't skip a beat. Uh, the dev team worked tirelessly around the clock, pretty much. Um, all of them with their individual add-ons and the core Slime Fun team. A lot of people came together to help. And the game-breaking update came out with almost no hitches. There were just a handful of minor reports that... From what I can tell, it just about all been fixed. Um, you know, it was amazing from behind the scenes watching how the devs worked together to ensure that none of the add-ons got left behind. There were people who had, you know, a college going on, had real life situations going on that couldn't get to their add-ons to get them updated. Uh, and the dev teams came together and help get, even though they had nothing at stake for those add-ons, that they got them done and, and rolled out to the community. As a matter of fact, a few of the devs are even trying to revive some of the great add-ons that came out before the game-breaking update that apparently seemed to be abandoned. Now, as far as what still needs to be updated, Sensible Toolbox, I know, is being looked at. Brewery, which I haven't really featured. That's one I don't have on here. Um, I haven't played Brewery at all. So I can't speak to it, but I know one of the devs is looking into that one. And then there's another one called What Is This? It uh, allows you to look at an item and see what it is and without having to you know, right click it and open it up. So there are a couple minor ones that are still being looked into. However, to me, it was just a big thank you uh, and hats off to all the devs for all the work you put into this. You know, hopefully you guys understand they do this free of charge. They do it on their own time. No one gets paid for any of this work. And, you know, they do it because of the community, because they want people to enjoy what they do. And I, for one, was very impressed, very excited. And uh, I'm looking forward to seeing what they continue to do. As a matter of fact, I'm going to announce it here, even though it already came out yesterday on the Discord. Galacta Fun that has been in works for many months that I've gotten to be a, a one of the testers on and seeing how it's gone. Very impressed with the work that Sagan Riley and others have put together and I think you guys are going to enjoy it. Um, it is available for download uh, and I would highly encourage you to get in there, play it, have some fun. Expect to have to do some hard thinking and working. They didn't put together something that was just, hey, put some dust in a in a pan and fry it up with some oil and bacon and boom you're done they put a lot of great work into this it's a very high quality add-on it might be the most extensive add-on i think i've seen yet and i think you're really going to enjoy it so hats off to everybody that was a part of getting that put together as well as the devs as a whole uh, i do have one thing i do want to mention as part of the weekly update and it's a add-on that we hardly ever talk about is mob capture it actually was a bug fix where you could reach into somebody else's protected area and capture somebody's mob. And that has now been fixed, so that should not be an issue anymore. Um, but more importantly, what I want you guys to realize, like I said, being in this different environment is that you have a dev team, uh, all these devs together, while they have their own add-ons and don't have their own things that they want to do, they're a great community. And I'm going to encourage you guys, please take the time to go to the official Discord and just say thank you. They don't get paid. They don't get anything out of this other than seeing people's enjoyment. So please, let them know how much you appreciate it. Thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget, when you play Slime Fun, you gotta go Boomer or you gotta go home. We'll see you later.